Jesus was also going to stand for our prayer. That's us. Yeah, of course, it belongs. Looks like the genius planned to use one of his spells on Mary Margaret. Of the empty houses. What the hell does that do? In theory, it has the power to make someone love it. Doesn't that break magic laws? You can't bring someone back to life. You can't force someone to love you. Yeah, but this particular spell can make someone think that they love them. And if you're as desperate for love as Regina appears to be, you might just believe it. Well, she needs to hear on me, isn't she? Hey, buddy, why don't you go back upstairs? Let us handle this. No! Emma! You said you were going to be honest with me. Now, why is Regina using this curse? Because it's the only way she can get everything she wants. That she can get you. But if all she wants is me... Your mother is a complicated woman. She wants your love, of course, but she also wants vengeance on Mary Margaret. Why does the curse give her both? Because the last ingredient she needs to enact the curse is the heart of the person she hates the most. You have to stop her. No, I don't have to do anything. On the contrary, I believe warning you fulfills my debt. It's not even close. This is my wife's life we're talking about. Not to mention your grandsons. You have a war as well, Colin. Nice. Well, this is a blood feud, dear one. One that goes back a very, very long time. And the only way you can end a blood feud is by the spilling of more blood. That is the only way I know to eliminate the Regina problem. By what? Killing her? yourselves. She's talking about killing my mom. You used to be heroes. What happened to you? Henry. No matter how this plays out, I need to keep him as far away from it as possible. She's right. Cora was dangerous because she didn't have a heart. Regina's even more dangerous because she loved it. 